Have you ever wondered about the prevalence of pornography addiction and its impact on society? This question is more important today than ever before, as a recent global study suggests that nearly 100 million adults could be addicted to pornography. That's a staggering 3% of the world's population. This issue isn't limited to any one demographic or region, but is truly a global concern. The study focuses on what's termed as problematic pornography use, defined as consuming enough pornography that it negatively impacts relationships and job performance. It's not just about the frequency of use, but the effect it has on an individual's life. Conducted by researchers in Canada, the study evaluated thousands of adults from dozens of countries, highlighting the widespread nature of this issue. The scale of the study is truly remarkable, encompassing more than 80,000 adults from every corner of the globe. It's clear that this is a global issue affecting millions of people across the world. But what did the study find? The study, led by Dr. Betha Both and her international team, analyzed the habits of over 80,000 adults from 42 countries. This colossal endeavor involved a research team of 80 co-authors, many of whom are members of the International Sex Survey Consortium, hailing from the US, China, Europe, and other parts of the globe. The participants, whose average age was 32, came from a wide range of backgrounds, with 57% being women and 68% identifying as heterosexual. The relationship statuses varied as well, with about one-third single, one-third in a relationship, and one-third married. Interestingly, over 70% of those studied had no children. The study had a broad geographic reach, with Hungary and Poland having the highest percentage of participants, and about 3% being from the United States and just under 2% from the UK. Participants were given an anonymous survey that was translated into 25 different languages. The survey took between 25 to 45 minutes to complete, and included a range of questions, such as how old participants were when they first looked at pornography, how often they viewed it, and if they believed they had an addiction. To measure problematic pornography use, the team employed the problematic pornography consumption scale, which included statements such as, I felt that porn is an important part of my life, and I became stressed when something prevented me from watching porn. The study's findings are quite illuminating. Dr. Boda and her team found that in North America, Europe, and Australia, between 70 to 94% of adults have used pornography at some point in their lives. Furthermore, based on the survey results, the researchers suggested that about 3% of the global population may have pornography habits that affect their everyday lives. The study also revealed that problematic consumption of pornography was more common in men than women, though there were no significant differences based on sexual orientation. However, less than 1% of all participants said they sought treatment for what they perceived as their pornography addiction. Another noteworthy finding was that, on average, participants viewed sexually explicit materials for the first time by age 14. These findings raise important questions about the societal implications of pornography addiction. What does it mean when 3% of the global population may have pornography habits that affect their everyday lives? Let's delve into this. When we talk about problematic use of pornography, we're referring to a usage pattern that starts to negatively impact various aspects of an individual's life. This could mean relationships, job performance, mental health, and societal norms. Imagine the strain on relationships. The secrecy and guilt associated with excessive pornography use can create a chasm of mistrust. It can lead to decreased intimacy and emotional disconnect and in some cases it could also contribute to infidelity. Now let's consider job performance. Excessive use of pornography can lead to a decrease in productivity and focus. Time that should be spent on work-related tasks may be consumed by viewing explicit content. This could lead to underperformance, missed deadlines, and even job loss in extreme cases. Mental health is another aspect that can be heavily impacted. Problematic pornography use can cause feelings of shame, guilt, and anxiety. It can also lead to addictive behavior patterns and in some cases even depression. The secrecy and isolation that often accompany problematic use can exacerbate these mental health issues. Moreover, societal norms and perceptions can be distorted by excessive consumption of pornography. Unrealistic expectations about body image, sexual behavior, and relationships can be formed, leading to dissatisfaction and discontent in real-life interactions. Let's also consider the findings that less than 1% of all participants sought treatment for what they perceived as their pornography addiction. 
this could signify a lack of awareness about the detrimental effects of excessive use, or perhaps a lack of accessible treatment options. It could also suggest a stigma associated with seeking help for such issues. Now let's examine the implications on a broader scale. If 3% of the world's population is grappling with problematic pornography use, that's nearly 100 million adults. That's a staggering number of people potentially dealing with the consequences we've just discussed. This is not to suggest that all pornography use is problematic, or that it doesn't have a place in adult entertainment. However, it's crucial to understand the potential negative impacts when usage becomes excessive and starts affecting the quality of life. Clearly, this is a serious issue that merits further attention and understanding. Yet, less than 1% of all participants sought treatment for what they perceived as their pornography addiction. This statistic, a stark revelation from the study, draws our attention to a significant discrepancy. While problematic pornography use is far-reaching, affecting potentially 3% of the global population, the number of those seeking help is a mere fraction. What could be the reasons behind this? Well, one potential explanation is the stigma associated with pornography addiction. This societal taboo often discourages individuals from admitting their struggles and seeking help. They may fear judgment, rejection, or misunderstanding from their peers or loved ones. It's a burden they bear in silence, often exacerbating the issue rather than resolving it. Another reason could be a lack of awareness. Many people may not realize that their consumption of pornography has crossed into the realm of addiction. They may not recognize the signs of problematic use or understand how it's impacting their relationships and job performance. Education plays a crucial role here and there's a pressing need for more widespread information and understanding about the realities of pornography addiction. Additionally, accessible treatment options might be in short supply. For some, the financial burden of treatment may be a deterrent. Others may not have access to appropriate resources in their communities. Online support groups and therapy can fill some of these gaps, but they're not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's clear that we need further research to better grasp the extent of the problem and to devise effective strategies for combating it. We need to build better support systems, destigmatize the issue, and raise awareness about the signs of addiction and the available treatment options. In the end, it's about offering understanding and support to those struggling with this issue. We need to foster an environment where individuals feel safe to voice their struggles, where they can seek and receive the help they need without fear of judgment or misunderstanding. As Dr. Boda suggests, more work needs to be done to understand and support those who are affected by it.